Well, happy Thursday, everybody, and thank you for taking a few moments for Let Me Encourage You Thursday. Blessings to each and every one of you. It is a good day. It's October 1st. Yes, it is. It's October. We have been kind of in this uh, stay at home, uh, very unique time for over six months. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Through it all, I want you to remember something. God's with us. God's with us. He hasn't forgotten or abandoned us. Grateful for that. I, I want to encourage you with a, uh, a passage of scripture this afternoon that really, I, I've been reading in the, about the kings of, uh, of Judah and Israel, and they're really fascinating. There's one king, Jehoshaphat, that there's a great story connected to him. And let me set it up for you. Uh, an incredibly large army was coming against Judah, and it caused concern. And so Jehoshaphat went to inquire of the Lord, which, you know, that's a great principle just in and of itself. And he inquires of the Lord. He calls the people to a fast. Then one of the prophets comes to Jehoshaphat, and this is what that prophet said to him. He said, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. I'm pretty confident that all of the things that we have been facing over these last number of months can feel a little bit like a pressing of a vast army against us. You know, whether it's in our personal lives or whether it's with business or, uh, you know, the, the physical side of our lives, the, the anxiety that we may have regarding the illness of COVID-19 that's very real. All of that, it presses against us. So the first part of encouragement today is just go to the Lord. Inquire of the Lord. God is there for us. He hasn't abandoned us. He hasn't forsaken us. And then there's a second part of this. So Jehoshaphat has said, don't, don't be afraid of this army. So tomorrow, I'm going to, essentially, I'm going to give them into your hands. And so he gets the army ready to go. And here's what happens. I love this. Early, early in the morning, this is verse 20. Uh, early in the morning, they left for the desert of Tekoa. As they sat out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God. And then after consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out ahead of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab. What happened was when the worship, when the worship of the people of God went forward, God accomplished what he said he would accomplish. That he would, he would take the battle in his hands. He would conquer the foes that were coming against the people of God. And the same is true for us. So when you feel the press, inquire of the Lord. Go to God. Pray. Don't, don't withhold your prayers. Go to God. He, he's there. And then begin to worship. Believe that the Lord will be, will, will be victorious in your life, will bring about that incredible sense of confidence and peace, and he will overcome the adversaries that are just kind of fighting against us. Be encouraged with that today. Acquire the Lord and worship him. And remember, the battle isn't ours. It's God's. Praise God. Let that be an encouragement to you. Well, a couple of things as we move into the weekend. We had a great service this past weekend outdoors, and we get to meet again, but this time indoors. Now, our limits are 100 people per service in the building, but we're going to have our children and students outside. They've got some great space out there that they've been utilizing uh, at the outdoor services, and they're going to continue that for the next couple of weeks. Why a couple of weeks? Well, on the 13th of October, we may be able to, to advance to the next tier, which will double our capacity. So it, it reduces our limits. It, I mean, it increases our limits. It means it, nah, something like that. Anyway, you understand what I mean? Be in prayer with us about that, that the COVID cases in Riverside County would continue to diminish. And if that is the case, then here's what will happen. We'll be able to go from 100 to 200. That's significant. Well, our kids will be meeting most services, 9 and 1030. Students are meeting at 10.30. It's going to be a great, great day. Come and worship with us. This weekend, we continue in our series of Curious. And this weekend, how would Jesus vote? I believe the Lord's got something really good for us 
this weekend. Going to help us with some practical tools as we face this election season. Well, it is great to have you with me today. And I want to encourage you as well, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, do that. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And let me invite you personally to join with me at 714 tomorrow morning for prayer. Uh, we pray every day at 714, praying for an end to this pandemic and healing of our nation. Thanks again for joining with me on Let Me Encourage You Thursday. And remember, be encouraged. Blessings to you.